Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com with the Samsung Galaxy S5. We've gotten to take a very quick look at it, which we bring to you now. This is probably our favorite Galaxy S phone yet, and it's a good thing because it's the newest. So here it is, available in four colors, white, gold, blue, and black. They have fancy names, but that's what we're going to call them. Uh, 5.1 inch Super AMOLED display at 1080p, no crazy 2K display resolution or anything. This thing is waterproof. They've basically taken what we liked in the Galaxy S4 Active. That's why we have a, uh, a door over the <laughs> USB port there. Uh, but it's waterproof, so you can get it wet. You can get it a little dusty, right? Really, really nice. I like this display. I like what Samsung has done with the UI. I dare say it, I almost like TouchWiz. It's not bad. Things have really taken a turn for the flat. App icons are still app icons, right? Those haven't changed. And that's a good thing. See, Samsung still has a whole bunch of apps on here. S Health, S Voice, all the S features that we've come to know and love or not use, depending on uh, on which way you roll. Let's look at the uh, settings menu here. Here's where it's really gone flat. I like this a lot. I really do like these buttons. It's a big, long list, but it's easy to get through. Now, there's the finger scanner. We're not calling it a fingerprint scanner. We're calling it a finger scanner, and it actually works pretty well. Walk you through it here real quick. Uh, you will set it up to scan your finger, and you can use that to unlock the phone. You can use it to pay for things. They're working with PayPal for this. And registering your fingerprint is that easy. You just swipe it. You start from just above the home button, swipe down over the home button, and then you can kill them out if you don't want them. Very easy to do and easy to unlock your phone. Let's take a look at the uh, quick settings here. And you can see also very flat. There's a whole lot going on there. There are 20 options there, so Samsung has not slowed down with that at all. Here's the uh, cool private mode. So you get a, a number of things you can hide in here. You can hide pictures, you can hide documents, uh, whatever you need to. You hide it there and then you get secondary security, right? So you have to unlock the phone a second time to get to those things. So that's a nice thing. That's a nice feature. I like that a lot. Take a look at the camera. Samsung, rightfully so, is very proud of this camera. It's always been very proud of its cameras. The big thing here is real-time HDR and very quick focus. They say it can focus on a shot within 0.3 seconds, depending on lighting, uh, but it is absolutely very fast. Real-time HDR is kind of interesting. You get a preview. Uh, here's the heart rate monitor. So this is actually really cool. You stick your finger up against the uh, flash on the back of the phone, and it will measure your heart rate. You know what? It works pretty well and is kind of depressing at the same time. I need to go exercise. While we're here, let's go look at, oh, I don't know, the weather. So we are here in Barcelona, which is why everything's in a metric and celsius and honestly i have no idea what that temperature is i think it's not terribly warm but again very attractive ui here it is next to the old galaxy s4 and you can really see the difference the matte soft touch back is so nice on this i can't say enough about that especially compared to the old glossy plastic a couple other colors there's the uh the black and the gold up next to the blue again really really nicely done i really like what Samsung has done here. There's the white version. I'm a little worried about how dirty that might get. We do have some case options. Here's a wallet case, a whole bunch of cool designs. So there you go, folks. A very, very quick look at the brand new Galaxy S5 from Samsung here in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. See ya.